11 heavy, traffic's orbiting north of the field at 3,500 feet, maintain 3,000, runway 4 right, cleared for takeoff. 2-3, cleared for takeoff, look for a winner to win. Win 3-3-0 three, three, at Niner. The U.S. Air 1995, contact departure. Departure is 1995, departure. On this Tuesday morning, it's the 11th day of September 2001. You're looking at the people gathered outside our studio here on a sunny Tuesday morning, and we've obviously had a breach in security. That is Tracy Ullman. But Tracy and I are like this these days. We hung out together on Sunday night at a fashion show, and she'll be joining us this morning to tell us about a personal style show that she is hosting and producing. It is called Tracy Ullman's Visible Panty Lines. Hmm. I don't think we need to say anything more about that. We'll let Tracy do the talking in just a little while. See that one to believe it. Congress is urging the president to take new steps to jumpstart the economy. Among other things, Republicans want a capital gains tax cut. Well, today the president is visiting his second Florida elementary school in as many days to stress the importance of literacy programs. Now here's Tom Brokaw with a look at what's coming up tonight on NBC Nightly News. Thanks, Ann. Tonight, three numbers that could save your life. 911, 190 million calls each year. But you won't believe the problems we found. That and much more ahead tonight. Ann. All right, Tom, thank you. It is now 8.04. American 11 turns 20 degrees, right? Any right, American 11. American 11, I'm climbing table level 350. American 11, climbing table level 350. American 11, Boston. Earth 7, Mike Lima, how do you hear? Mike Lima, how do you last click? American 11, Boston. American 1-1, one, one, uh, the American on the frequency, how do you hear me? This is, uh, this is Boston. I tried American 20 left and I was in a cloud. He will not respond to me. United 175 Heavy, runway 9 or clear for takeoff, fast and holding position on 4 right. Clear for takeoff, runway 9 or United 175 Heavy. US Air 6511, Vox, our constant wind service, departing heavy, Boeing 767, runway 9 or taxi to position all drive, will depart, runway 4 right. Position 9, we can do 11. Delta 2433, traffic is orbiting north of the field at 3500 feet after departure, maintain 3000. Delta 2351, contact departure. American 894, traffic holding on the crossing runway, wind 35013, runway 4 right. Clear for takeoff. American 894 is clear for takeoff, 4 right. Delta 2433, Boston, Tarkash, wind driven departing Boeing 757. Hello? Yes, yes. hello? What is your name? Hi, are you, you going to have to speak up. I can't hear you. Sure. What is your name? Okay, my name is Betty Ong. 
I'm number three on flight 11. Okay. And the cockpit is not answering their phone. And there's somebody stabbed in business class. And there's we can't breathe in business class. Somebody's got mace or something. At this point, this is operations. What flight number are we talking about? Flight 12. Flight 12. Okay. No, I'm we're on flight 11 right now. This is flight 11. It's flight 11. I'm sorry, Nidhi. Boston to Los Angeles. Yes. Our number one has been staffed, and our five has been staffed. Can anybody get up to the cockpit? Can anybody get up to the cockpit? Okay, we can't even get into the cockpit. We don't know who's up there. I think the guys are up there. They might have gone their, down their way up there or, or something. Nobody can call the cockpit. We can't even get inside. American 77, your departure frequency will be 125.05, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 30, American 77. Okay, Boston, Los Angeles, clear for Is that American 11 trying to call? Buddy, what? We have some planes, just stay quiet and you'll be okay. We're returning to the airport. And uh, who's trying to call me here? American 11, are you trying to call? Nobody move. Everything will be okay. If you try to make any move, you'll danger yourself and the airplane. Just stay quiet. Gourmet Magazine is celebrating a uh, 60th anniversary. Yeah, big marker. When you think about it, what a year to start a magazine, 1941? I mean, no, that was a busy year, generally, wasn't it? called a war it? going yeah, on. Yeah, was a busy uh, year. Oh, yeah, we'll celebrate the good life. Also, Ray Romano is here. Peter Boyle is here from Everybody <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Here's <laughs> a Peter Boyle invitation. I'm telling you, I'm Brian. Hey! <laughs> Peter Boyle with Love and Ray Romano, great show as well. Uh, and everybody loves Raymond. Watch it flying out here on American Airlines. Let's show you what's going on around the country, kids, uh, on this Tuesday, the night of the Latin Grammys. Nobody move, please. Uh, going back to the airport. Don't try to make any stupid moves. United 93, wind 3307, runway 4 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 4 left, United 93. Eagle 665, Newark Tower, cautionary turbines, runway 4 left, taxi to position, hold. Taxi to position, hold, Eagle flight 665. Continental 124, Newark Tower, wind 3407, number 3, runway 4 right, clear to land. Clear land, 4 right, Continental 124. Thank you. 
1836, Kirk to our wind, 3407, runway 4 right, little end. Runway 4 right, runway 1836. United 93, contact departure. United 93, good end. Consolidate your credit card or other debts. Just log on. Yeah. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to figure out exactly what happened, but clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. American 77, Indy. Indianapolis, uh, good morning, our Canada 579 with you, 350 for 390. Our Canada 579, Indy Center, Roger. American 77, Indy. American 77, American Indy. Okay, I have got to interrupt you right now. Sorry. Richard Hack, thank you very much. We appreciate the book is called Hughes. We want to go live right now and show you a picture of the World Trade Center where I understand, do we have it? No, we do not. We have a breaking story though. We're going to come back with that in just a moment. First, this is today on NBC. <laughs>
This is an ABC News special report. Now by the entire ABC network, uh, Good Morning America was in progress in the East Coast and the Midwest, but we're joined by the entire network just to show you some pictures at the foot of New York City. This is at the World Trade Center. Obviously a major fire there, and there has been some sort of explosion. We don't fully know the details. There is one report, as of yet unconfirmed, that a plane has hit of the World Trade Center. It's 8.52 here in New York. I'm Bryant Gumbel. We understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We don't know anything more than that. We don't know if it was a commercial aircraft. We don't know if it was a private aircraft. We have no idea how many were on board or what is th what the extent of the injuries are right now. Uh, a fucking plane or something hit the World Trade Center. Center. It's not good. Rob, you know me. Do I pursue anyone? No. Right. But for her, you got to pursue. What? You don't want Pamela Anderson. I ain't that. pursuing her. Swallow your pride and go back. I am her door. not going to pursue He's her. He's going to wait till Pamela Anderson asks him. That's right. <laughs> hey, I should make a. Uh, I should. I don't mean to interrupt the fun, but uh, this is a breaking news story. A serious news story. What? A plane has crashed, uh, hold it, into the World Trade Center. You're kidding! The World Trade Center is on fire. Mike, put your mic on! Mike, put your mic on! Stuff is still falling, let's get out of here. Mike, we're going to get killed! Mike, we're going to get killed! I hope this wasn't one of those, like, terrorist kamikaze attacks. Yes, sir, 542, was it a 757? Yes, sir, 542, was it a 757? Yeah, it looks like a 757, and it looks like a Dell. If you just told me that that was him, I could have got a better look at it. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I was busy looking at the guy in front of you. Are you okay? Uh, Jules, this is Ryan. Uh, listen, on an airplane, that's been hijacked. Things don't go well. I'm good to go. I just want you to know I absolutely love you. I want you to do good. So happy to find uh, things to my parents and everybody. And I just totally love you, and uh, I will see you in Denver. All right, Division 1, be advised, uh, Battalion 2, advise you have jumpers from the World Trade Center, okay. We are back at 9 o'clock Eastern Time on this Tuesday morning, and we're back with dramatic pictures of an accident that has happened just a short time ago. You're looking at the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, where just a few minutes ago we're told that a plane, some reports are that it was a small commuter plane, crashed into the upper floors of one of the Twin Towers. Delta 2315, thanks for your help. Contact the New York Center on 134.32. 3432, Delta 2315. U.S. Air 542, direct Modena, resume on navigation. Under direct Modena, U.S. Air 542. Air 542, Roger, maintain flight level 280, new normal speed. Yep, 280, normal speed, U.S. Air 542. PWA 3, maintain flight level 260. PWA 3, heavy living, 22 for 260. Zero Mike Juliet, maintain flight level 230. 
American 281, contact the New York Center on 133.47. 133.47, American 281, good day. Sir, 542. Um, did you say you thought it was a dark paint scheme? We Go just ahead, got sorry. a report that the Associated Press is now reporting that it was an aircraft. So that's one more witness weighing in, or at least one more source weighing in on the fact that it was an aircraft of some kind. Looks like a second plane. Terrible. Has just I did not see a plane go in. That that just exploded. We I, just saw another plane coming saw, in from the side. You did. I did. That was out of. Yes, out of and my that's view. the second explosion. You could see the plane come in just from the right-hand side of the screen. So this looks like oh it is Lord. some sort of a concerted Deliberate. effort to attack the World Trade Center that is underway in downtown New York. Oh, another plane just crashed into other World Trade Center. I'm so scared. I'm leaving. He just called and said that on CNN, a second plane just crashed into oh, one. Stop it. A second plane. Wait That's two different minute. buildings. That's two different buildings. They are two buildings, and that is lower. That's what I so said. it's a terrorist attack, no, no, isn't it? Just, that, that's you what they're saying. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be. Somebody just called oh, in with that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. A second plane might have crashed, and a second building is on fire. Open your book up to lesson. 60 on page 153. Stay together. Stay ABC's Peter Jennings is uh, at the anchor desk uh, uptown here in New York and is now in position. Peter, I suspect you are looking at exactly the same pictures? Well, I know you're looking at the same pictures we are. We are, Charlie. We've been watching it from the beginning. and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be watching this for much of the day. There is chaos in New York at the moment. There have been not one but two incidents, as Charlie and Diane have so ably reported so far. The second one coming in 903. But how do you combat this, though? Yeah, how, how could oh, you know how. Reagan stopped them. No, but I'm saying, I mean, you I mean, go in there and you teach them a lesson. We know where these people are. Yeah. We know exactly where they are. We need to send some cruise missiles over there right now. I just start bombing the hell out of them. GW, you better get on the hey, on the GW, stick. you Howard. listen to this right now. You better bomb the hell out of those towel heads. Howard, what? what was the end result of, after the whole World uh, Trade Center bombing and all the trials and everything else, yes. how many guys... Nothing happened. Nothing, right? Nothing. Oh, no, that's not true. That well, some guys went to jail. Yeah. Big but, but deal. Like guys. Not, you they, they, know, where is this OB, do some strategic you know, strikes Bin Laden or whatever his name is. people we right. never declared well, war on. They, 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 tried, you know, they, they tried to get Bin Laden at three different places. Remember that? Oh, come on. We can't get Bin Laden. Then, then there's something wrong in this world. Again, we want to emphasize this is unconfirmed, but... There is speculation uh, that an American Airlines plane was hijacked and crashed purposely, on purpose, into the World Trade Center, and that the second plane was another plane, perhaps hijacked, was then flown in to the second tower. Uh, I mean, th this thing's going to burn. It, it, you can't stop that kind of burning. Mm -hmm. It's going to burn the whole building down. Good morning. Have a good day. Hi, what's your number again, please? I'm on the 83rd floor. I'm on the 83rd floor. What? I'm on the 83rd floor. 8695. 8695. It's at the World Trade Center. Someone having difficulty breathing on the 83rd floor. Okay, ma'am. How are you doing? Is it? Is it? Are they going to be able to get somebody up here? Of course, ma'am. We're coming up for you. Well, there's no one here yet, and the floor is completely engulfed. We're on the floor and we can't breathe. Okay. And it's very, very, very hot. Everybody stay calm. You're doing a good job. Please. Ma'am, listen. Damn it. Everybody's coming. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what happened, okay? Here. Yeah. But no, no. They have to take time to come up here. You know that. you got to be very it's careful. very hot. I understand. So how many people where you're at right now? There's like five people here with me. 
Paula from the 83rd floor. 83rd floor. Very hot. No fire for now and no smoke, right? No smoke, right? Of course there's smoke. Ma'am, ma'am, you have to stay calm. There is smoke. I okay. can't breathe. Okay, you stay calm with me, okay? I understand I you. I think there is fire because it's very hot. Okay. It, it's very hot everywhere on the floor. Okay. I know you don't see it, and I know, but we. Um, it's very hot. I we see no fire, but you see smoke, right? It's very hot. I see. I don't see okay. any air anymore. Okay. All I see is smoke. Okay, dear. I'm so sorry. Please. I'm stay. gonna die, aren't I? No, 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 no. Say your. I'm gonna die. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Say your prayers, and we're not. I'm gonna, gonna die. We're gonna think positive because you gotta help each other get off the floor. Now, die. No. No, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. You're doing a good job, ma'am. You're doing no. a good job. You're it's so calm. hot. I'm burning up. Do you see the way that plane goes into the yes. building? Yes. Yeah. Those guys are happy to die for their oh. Allah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now the that was some crazy people. encourage it. Your yeah, parents encourage it. Well, that's what I say. How do you negotiate themselves? with people like that? You can't. No. no. It's it's really... And also, the whole argument about whether Israel should be there or not is ridiculous. And they they're there. drag Jesse Jackson back here and pummel him for even talking with that yeah. Yasser Arafat. Now, do you think the plane was full of people? I'm hoping. No, I think I don't think so. Well, well they said if it was, if a, it was a hijack plane, oh, probably oh, was. Right, right. What do they care who else is on the plane? Right. Oh my God. Oh. Jamie Agangel is on the telephone, our national correspondent, with more information. Jamie, what can you tell us? Katie, I've just spoken to top U.S. officials with the access to latest intelligence, and they said, "quote." that this was clearly terrorist-related, no question about it. Lockburn 89. Lockburn, right. are you watching the tag 5-1 out there? I guess they yes, uh, I mean, I guess right hand hand back. Right turn back. Right. We'll, we'll, have to re we'll just put them in back to direct St. Louis, and they can put in whatever they want. That's what we can hand them off back. <laughs> Somebody call Cleveland. <laughs> Do you have United 93 south of Shark? We hear some funny noises. We're trying to get him. Do you have him? No. Thank you. United 93, Cleveland. United 93, verify your flightable uh, 350. You know what's oh. weird? Oh, what's what Bush is saying. Brother, I wonder if everybody knows there what's going on. We'll listen to him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a difficult moment for America. I, um... Unfortunately, we'll be going back to Washington after my remarks. Secretary Rod Page and Lieutenant Governor <clears throat> will take the podium and discuss education. I do want to thank the folks here at, uh, at the Booker Elementary School for their hospitality. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the vice president, to the governor of New York, to the director of the FBI, and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government uh, go to help the victims and their families and, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks who committed this act. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now, if you join me in a moment of silence. May God bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. That was the U.S. President George Bush talking about an apparent terrorist attack, he called it. Stephen Sveech is in Washington. Stephen, it does rather look like a suicide attack, doesn't it? It does indeed. It, it does seem hard to, 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 to think that it's anything other than uh, a suicide attack. In, in, he's saying the full resources of the federal government will be brought to bear to hunt down uh, those folks, as he called them. Cleveland 956. Uh, who's that calling? Executive 956. Executive 956, go. 
Oh, we're just answering your call. Uh, we did hear that uh, yelling, too. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, calling Cleveland Center, you're unreadable. Say again slowly. United 93, we spoke about him before. Yes. He is reversing course over Akron. They just lost his transponder. He's heading eastbound. What kind of airplane do we know yet? Uh, just a second. 757. Thanks, buddy. The aircraft is descending. Okay, we, yeah, he is descending. We Correct. We heard that. Uh, 986. Victor 986, right. Hi, is the captain? Uh, we'd like to go to remain seated. We have one more board and we are going to back to the airport and we have our demand. So please remain quiet. Okay, it's United 93 calling. Katie, I don't want to alarm anybody right now, but apparently there, it, it felt just a few moments ago like there was an explosion of some kind here at the Pentagon. The Pentagon. The Pentagon, what? All right, here we're Stop going. it. What? Is there another explosion? Wait, what's going on? Is there another explosion? Attack the Pentagon. They turn just attacked off, the Pentagon. Turn off the TV. Hold on, wait a second. Oh, no. Let's go back to the... One second. I've killed our commercial break. Uh, Tom, our general manager in New York, said uh, because of what's going on now in our country that uh, we're just going to come back and, and be with you. Uh, the Pentagon has just been, been attacked. Hit by a plane. Hit by a plane. The World Trade Center has been hit by two planes. This is what we know so far. And uh, I got to tell you... They evacuated the White House. In there. John McCarthy has actually been evacuated from the Pentagon, and parts of the Pentagon are indeed being evacuated. Um, we want to hold our breath here, it just seems to me, for a second, and, 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 and not get into a mode that the country is under attack. The terrorism also always has two prongs to it, the physical threat and now the psychological threat. This does seem to be surreal, but in fact it is real when you have an explosion of undetermined origin at the Pentagon. Number 561 Alpha Charlie, contact Cleveland, 119.32, sir. 1932, good day. Good. United 93, United 93, Cleveland. Material. Yeah, you turn that medics away from that primary up there. I, I, the medics, we're talking to the medics. I've seen him turn okay. him out of the United yeah, Way. Yeah, United, put your primaries up, Bill, because I'm pretty sure that's him. It's tracking I got him. I got him on the track. Okay, okay. okay.
2500. Wait a second, what oh happened? My Tom, God. what happened? Oh my God. What just happened? Oh my God. What oh, the just happened? Look at that. Oh, the whole World Trade Center just collapsed. Yeah, I'm looking at it on Channel 7. Oh my, oh my God. God. The whole thing just completely oh dropped. It actually oh, collapsed. That's it. Oh my God. Anybody who had a chance of getting out of there. It collapsed. Doesn't oh have a chance God. now. It Thanks very much. It completely collapsed. The whole side has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. The building has collapsed. That's the southern tower you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. The second building that we witnessed the airplane enter had been, the top half had been fully involved in flame. It just collapsed. There is panic on the streets. Thousands of people. I mean, when you look at it, the building has collapsed. That tower just came down. We are talking about massive casualties here at the moment, and we have. Whew. Command post to all units. Evacuate the building. Command post to all units. Get my back. Get my back. Associated Press has learned the White House has been evacuated after the Secret Service foreseen the credible threat of a terrorist act against the mansion. The State Department, as we mentioned, also evacuated. Fox News Channel's Jim Engel is at the White House and has the very latest. The roads around the White House, the streets around the White House were blocked seconds ago. It's got to be shot. This has become one of those movies. There's, that's an F-18. 
It goes without saying this is the most serious attack on the United States in more than 100 years, uh, not since the War of 1812 and certainly the damage that we did to ourselves during the Civil War have, has this country suffered this kind of damage uh, within its interior. That, that, that probably makes this singularly uh, the largest, most well-coordinated act of terrorism, uh, not just in U.S. history, but probably Certainly in modern in, times. In modern times. Yeah, and, Unprecedented. And, 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 it's and, be... and every time you say that, I'm going to go immediately to Washington, but every time you say that, I keep thinking of how we are told time and time and time again by the Pentagon and by the State Department that they know something's going Stand on by, in the uh, world today. They seem to have the North problem at the North Tower, uh, Peter. Let's look at the North, the North Tower, Tower quickly, seems quickly. To be coming down. Oh, my God. And this is 1010 Winds, WINS, New York, and uh, the world is a very different place from the way we left it about two and a half hours ago. A Taliban news conference soon. What is that? What is a Taliban news conference, Robin? I have no that's, idea. Um, that's, uh, what's that guy's Ben Laden? I think that's yeah, Taliban. That's a terrorist organization. They're, I think they're going to call a press conference to deny any involvement. Oh, they're involved. Yeah. Don't buy it. When you get your cameras in that's there, shoot crap. them. <laughs> Three aircraft that we know of were commandeered. One was crashed into each of the World Trade Center towers in New York City, and another was crashed into the Pentagon outside Washington, D.C. We're going to show you uh, from the West Bank. These are Palestinian celebrations in the wake of Tuesday's terror attacks in the United States. How apparently Palestinians took to the street, chanting, God is great. People were throwing candy, distributing candy to passers-by. Allow us, whether you need Israel to do it or the United States to do it, I don't care which. You know, to me, that alone is a reason to bomb yeah. them. Allow yeah, us to bomb right them. Now, they're out in the streets. Throw a bomb on them right now. That's bomb right. them now in the street. How, how would they have a nuclear in the street, weapon? five years old, jumping up and down, celebrating? Five-year-olds. Those five-year-olds will grow up to attack our children. They're showing it right now. If you, if, Kill if, them. If you, if you look at NBC Kill them Channel for 4. celebrating. Kill in them. In their schools, at five look, years old, they they're are. being in Here they are. They're... they're they're all celebrating in the streets. The Palestinians are celebrating in the streets, ladies and gentlemen. They're putting up the victory sign. Children are cheering. The parents have taught them well. Let them all live. Go ahead. Go ahead and more of us will die. This only adds to the horror that uh, I think everyone is beginning to feel across this country today Clearly. about what they try to imagine, what has been going on. And it is just beginning, I suspect, for a lot of people to fully sink in about what we're going through. And we are just halfway through this day. And it's going to be a long day and a long week and many months to come as we continue to deal with this. So this is going to be a test of this country and we're going to have to steal ourselves. Well, this is a devastating day. It is. What is the date today? It is September the 11th, 12th, 11th. The 11th, the 11th, 11th of September. September. What is certainly a day which will live in infamy. Uh, September the 11th, 2001, and the worst terrorist attack in the history of the world. It was uh, December 7th, 1941, actually the next day that FDR said this is a day that shall live in infamy. We are living through another day of infamy for this country.